one, I'm the Game Diva, and would you believe, two days before it's supposed to come out, Jurassic World's trailer comes out. I, and I, I am happy, but at the same time, I was at a cinema, so I couldn't do it right there in front of you. So yeah, I've got with me today, as of course, the Jurassic Park shirt that I've had for ages. The uh, a T Rex. This T Rex I've had since I got Christmas when I was six or seven or eight. It was one of the two. Childhood friend. Played with so much that he's got like gammy legs. <laughs> of course. Got a hat. Lost World hat. No idea when I got it. Sometime when Lost World came out, obviously. And I'm sporting a cup of tea in a Jurassic Park mug. So this is my actual reaction. To the trailer. I don't know if I can put it in the video, but anyway, enjoy. Let's just hope it's good. I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, run. Ah, ha, 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 ha. God damn it. Stupid foreshadowing. Don't let me down. Oh, that was the cruise boat that was in the pictures! It was real! Yeah, I know. I know I'm watching a trailer. Ah! It's open! Ooh! Canoes! It was canoes! I was right! Gyroball CGI? Not shabby at all! Really good! Oh, that's all! What? Jaws? Holy hell! That's amazing! Oh! Oh, thank God Steven Spielberg had something to do with it. The past decade from genetics, then a century of digging up bones. A whole new frontier has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. And it can't possibly go wrong. We just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. Almost 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out. Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab. Oh, so it's a secret to everyone. Oh, it's a dead man's hat! She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Oh, God. Oh, it's looking good. Run! train the raptors like dogs so they're like his pets okay I think it's about time we analyze this a bit more seriously without this guy okay first things first I just want to say that this trailer is incredibly clever with what it's showing us and what it's not showing us which is just as equally as important first I just want to kind of break down and go through shots and scenes and theories and think of what might actually happen in the movie. So first we're gonna start off with what I personally call the FU Jaws scene. Now we see a great white shark, I'm guessing it's a great, great white shark and not a megalodon, and it's hanging over, and of course, a huge mosasaur um, takes it, takes, eats it whole, basically. Uh, this scene works tremendously well, it gives us a sense of scale and how big a mosasaur is, and you have to remember that a lot of people, you might know what a mosasaur is, but a lot of people who watch this movie know what dinosaurs are, but they don't know what's going on inside the ocean at that sort of time. I watched the Let's Play, this guy played Jurassic Park game, saw a mosasaur, and thought they made it up. He was like, this can't be real. But yes, these were huge prehistoric reptiles that lived at the same time as dinosaurs and died out at exactly the same time as well. Uh, thank God, because they were huge. But if we you just look how tiny these people are. Um, something I want to pick out with this scene is, look at the bridge behind. Now that bridge is like separated by nothing. 
and th I'll show you this other photo and you can see the differences from one and the other that this bridge is it looks like it's in shallow water but how shallow we is it is yet to be known uh, it's a monorail track so at one point we're gonna see a huge mosasaur sort of swim out and attack the train uh, the monorail but what they haven't showed us and what was leaked is the photo of the map and the photo of the map shows that it's a water park there is a water park and they have not shown us anything about the water park we did get a quick scene with the canoes now this could be very dangerous we could have mosasaurs swimming around with canoes i definitely wouldn't want to be in their shoes that's all i can say about the scene but maybe we are going to get a jaws sort of scene where the, the mosasaur is picking off people in the water park I don't know if it's, in, it's situated in the ocean or in this lake or wherever it is, but the uh, the river looks like a very promising place for this Mosasaur to start its rampage. Now we're going to move on to the D-Rex. The D-Rex, they have not shown us anything about it, but the first image, I'm guessing that these eggs on the right are the D-Rex eggs. They've got some little code attached to them, you can see there, and they are a lot bigger than the other eggs there that are there. Um, we have no sign of Henry Wu yet, he has not been addressed or shown, um, but those eggs look a lot bigger than the eggs on the left, and I'm guessing the eggs on the left will be some T-Rex, and it just sort of gives you scale. And the, the part in the trailer that this is shown is when they're starting to introduce this new gen genetically modified dinosaur, and they show you these eggs. So already we get a sense of scale. The, uh, the wall, we, it's said that it's 40 meters high or 40 foot high, I'm guessing. I'm guessing not 40 meters, 40 foot high, and it's scaled it, obviously. Uh, we have no idea what it looks like. If we go to something that it looks a bit promising, it could be the uh, the uh, D-Rex, which is what it is called now. It is classified, you can see it is the X57D or something, that's what they called it. But this part in the trailer, um, Chris Pratt, you see, I thought he was called Pat because Pratt in English is another term for an idiot. So you call somebody a prat, it's saying they're an idiot. But anyway, um, this creature that's chasing him has three claws. So it's not a T-Rex, but the way it's holding its claws sort of to the side, it could be some sort of Suchomimus is what I'm guessing. It could be some sort of Spinosaur. I don't think it's going to be in. Suchomimus was on the Masrani website. So it's possible this could be, although there's a guy like a worker just there who doesn't seem too fussed, he just casually walks past. So I'm guessing that this is uh, uh, a sort of moment that's early on where he's just sort of testing and then he like, gets cho chased and we're like, oh my god, he's in danger! And then he's not, he was safe all the time. Uh, we're gonna flip forward to this, which gives us probably the closest description we can get of the D-Rex. Now, this kid is obviously stuck in the visitor center. We've got a t-shirt behind him which says Jurassic World and a dinosaur's thinking something like I've got tiny arms to hell with it. I have no idea. But the shadow that is cast on him shows something very specific. We've got a ridged sort of back with horns. Now this points to only one dinosaur that I know of that has points and could be the or a lookalike of the D-Rex, and that is the Carnotaur. Now, if you remember, Carnotaur was not in any of the other movies, but it featured in the Lost World novel, and in that novel, it had camouflage. And throughout this whole movie trailer, they point to it eating anything, and that from the looks of it, we've got a scene where this hunter or like soldier who are of security he's, he's on the road for something. He's obviously trying to track this creature down, and we get a blood drop, and he looks up, and obviously he gets killed. Now that's very reminiscent of Predator. Now that could be, uh, or like, oh look, it's paying homage to that movie. And Predator, as we all know, had active camo. So that's probably a straight direction, but this dinosaur that could be a Carnotaur, or at least has spines on its back like a Carnotaur, um, could in fact be the, the culprit. I just want to point out, <laughs> like, I don't even know why I'm showing you this, but this guy was in the office? Like, the US office last time I saw him? And now he's in Jurassic World, like, that's amazing, I'm sorry. Now another moment from the film that I think is the most standout moment, and they saved it to last, because throughout the entire trailer, there are no raptors, no raptors at all, and this is Chris Pratt's forte, that's what he does, he's a raptor trainer or a raptor uh, researcher. 
and they, these raptors look very, very friendly. In fact, he looks like he's racing with them, maybe trying to track down this D-Rex. And I'm sorry to say, but I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of raptors deaths. Even though raptors are smart, this genetically modified dinosaur probably has the traits of all the other dinosaurs, including raptors. So maybe it's going to even communicate with the raptors at some point. But what I'm very relieved to uh, express and show is that these raptors have no little head feathers. We've completely scrapped those Jurassic Park 3 raptors. Get out of here. We don't want to see you anymore. Again, we're gonna go back to this picture where um, Chris Pratt has said to her that you need to evacuate the park and she's sort of like, I know, but I need to drink money still. <laughs> but you can see clearly at the top that there is a portion of Isla Nublar cut off. Um, I'll, I brought up um, the, the picture of Isla Nublar before and this is from Jurassic Park and I don't know how dated this is. Now, what I'm wondering is that this restricted area could be parts where the old dinosaurs still existed. Now, if this is continuing on from the book, the island got nuked to hell and everything died. Some raptors escaped and managed to still live uh, in Costa Rica. So who knows about that? But I'm guessing this is just a continuation on Jurassic Park and maybe continue Lost World, but I'm not too sure, and probably completely forgetting Jurassic Park 3. But it looks like there is a huge wall dividing uh, the, the park and the, the restricted area. Uh, on the map, it doesn't show anything in particular that's over on that north side of the island that's restricted in the old Jurassic Park map. But we were, sci-fi did say that um, the sci-fi website did say that it was going to be confirmed, it was confirmed that the old visitor center was gonna be there. So it's possible that the old visitor center is somewhere in that restricted area. And maybe it's gonna be a stronghold and maybe a, a sort of where the kids get lost because obviously they're gonna be lost somewhere in the park and maybe they're gonna find the visitor center and it's gonna be all hunky-dory. What I will say is that it looks like we have a smashed up gyro ball here or gyrosphere, whatever we wanna call it. And Chris Pratt finds a tooth from it. So obviously the D-Rex has attacked it. A shameless advertisement from Mercedes there. <laughs> but what I'm gonna say is I'm not too sure if this is gonna be the same gyrosphere as the kids were in. It looks like when this whole place goes to hell, they're already out of the gyrosphere. And anyway, if we flip between these two images, you can see clearly that this is number seven, and on the headrest it says number seven, and on their headrest it says nothing. So um, if you see, if you go watch the film, and you see them putting on the, the safety harness or whatever, and it says 07 on it, you know that this is gonna happen to them and they're gonna be lost in the woods. I don't know about you, but this scene in particular looks very reminiscent of another old sci-fi uh, classic horror movie, which is um, Alien, in that Sigourney Weaver is the lone survivor, and it looks very similar. She's in some sort of basement that's quite smoky, she's got limited vision with a flare, and she's also, for some odd reason, taken off her clothes, uh, which was one of the, uh, one of the things that Alien got prodded at, it was like, why does she start taking off her clothes? Obviously it could be that she's, uh, it could have uh, certain connotations that like it's over, so she's getting out, changing of a costume that reflects her character, changing and uh, all this being behind her. But here we have no idea what is happening. All I can say is a bit like when Ellie Sattler in Jurassic Park was sort of going through the pipes, going through the security, trying to turn on the power. It looks like we've got a similar situation going on here. I have to say the CGI in this film looks great. Uh, a lot of people are fans of practical effects. I myself am, but when CGI is done right, it looks great. And I don't know why loads, it seems like the whole internet these days are like, oh, I hate CGI, it's so overused. Yes, that's true, but that, there's nothing wrong with it if it's used correctly. And it looks like, um, or, although we haven't seen it, there have been uh, raptor models, like actual models, like uh, puppets and mannequins made for this film. So unfortunately, they haven't shown us too many of the practical effects. It looks like they're all CGI, but with the trailer, they're only gonna want to show you the best bits. Apart from that, go watch the trailer, make up your own minds, 
I've been the Gaming Beaver, and I'm I'm actually quite hyped for this. Uh, I thought it was gonna kill the series. Um, not that Jurassic Park 3 already did that. The only good thing that that film did was introduce the Spinosaur. Uh, one of the worst things it did: kill the T-Rex. Screw you! I will never forgive you. Uh, <laughs> so until next time, where well, I will, I might do a review after the movie's been out and it's came out on DVD, um, or at least. I might do a review when I've gone and seen it in the cinema. I'll see you next time. Bye bye